Well, I thought I'd give a update on the uh, Jarvis windmill project. Um, just about received all the parts that I've um, kind of needed to kind of make things uh, get things going here anyway. So I'll kind of take you through what we've got. We've got uh, this is the uh, diversion load resistor that uh, all this stuff was ordered on off of eBay uh, various places a um, little blocking diode uh, to go from the windmill positive line to the battery uh, to stop the current from flowing back and turning it into a motor uh, the uh, charge charge controller um, where in this case with the windmill it'll be a diversion controller more than a charge controller but uh, um, that's a, neither here nor there. Uh, the uh, power inverter, you can see this is a 2000 watt with a 4000 watt peak. And uh, we're going to start off with a couple of 35 amp hour batteries um, that the church is providing. I don't know, uh, we might be able to string some more together in parallel to increase that uh, battery bank. And then we've got, um, I had a, several wires, uh, we've got um, fuses, that sort of thing, for to run in between the, uh, the battery bank and the uh, power inverter, um, different cables. And um, so we're just about ready to start uh, getting things kind of designed, mounted. Um, I'm going to have to figure out... I think I'm going to do a separate heat sink for this little... Um, I was kind of thinking about possibly mounting it um, to uh, the heat sink already on the uh, um, charge slash diversion controller, but I think I'm going to create its own separate heat sink so that I can uh, put it wherever I want it. Um, I just had this piece of plywood laying around. Uh, was thinking that it might be big enough, just looking at it, that um, the inverter would fit on there. But it's just not quite big enough, as you can see. So I'll, uh, I've got some more of this plywood outside, and we'll uh, I'll get that cut. Now, I haven't done a whole lot on the turbine itself. Uh, my friend Doug, he um, has a piece of equipment that he said I could come out to his house and use that will make the uh, shaping of the blades a lot faster. But, um, so it's pretty much been sitting here. I did get the, uh, uh, the part for the, uh, the hub arbor and, uh, that sort of thing. So that's been on there. And, um, so, and I still have to make, uh, the blades and the, um, uh, itself. I think I've got a template in there. Yeah, I do. I can see it in there, but I'm not going to be able to reach it with the camera in my hand. Uh, to actually make the uh, the round hub that the blades will mount on that will go in between these two pieces right here. So, uh, still got plenty of time. The spring gathering isn't until April. Uh, so as long as I have pretty much all this done by, by April, we'll be good to go. And um, I'll, I'm gonna, what I'm going to try to do too is get this tested before we take it down there. So I'm going to get a find the board that I want to use, the proper size. Uh, I think Brent and Zach are going to start building the little um, shelter uh, for this. Th this especially these two pieces of equipment really can't be out in the uh, out in the elements. So it's going to have to be in some sort of enclosed shelter that will allow air circulation. So like a little uh, hutch on stilts with a uh, with a roof that will uh, keep it from uh, getting rained on and um, <clears throat> so I'm going to mount everything get it on a board and then this board would then be uh, able to be mounted in that hutch that they build on site that may be something we end up doing at the gathering I don't know but getting it all set up and getting most of the wiring but I'm going to have once I get everything kind of planned then I'll cut the wires to the proper lengths label them and uh, be able to test it out and uh, before we take it down there, make sure everything works, and then it'll just be a setup down there. So that's where we're at on the Jarvis Windmill Project. Thank you very much. Bye.